this list is a little bit self-indulgent and I start off with the most self-indulgent guest which is Oscar winning sex god actor that is Denzel Washington. The kind of crush that I've had on Denzel Washington has never waned. Just getting better with age. James Hunt, old fashioned sportsman that just is so reckless and has this incredibly decadent life. Good guess to mix it up. Barbara Streisand, probably the world's greatest diva. She could be a nightmare. And I'm thinking Alan Partridge when he was still at Radio Norwich, not the later years when he was a bit depressed. <laughs> I want him in his prime. David Williams is coming, endlessly charming. I think if my granny popped in, he would be just as interested in her day as Barbara's. And Eric Cantona, <laughs> I mean, he's pretty much got an opinion on everything. There might be a bit of competition, you know, who's gonna out banter each other with their stories. You know, we haven't even got to the main course and things are really kicking off in this dinner party. So I've got my very select group of guests coming this evening and we're going to start cooking. We have already in the oven some devils on horseback, which are very, very simple. And I'm going to make a dip for those as well so that the guests can be dipping and sipping. Just made that up. For my main course, I'm cooking a seared fillet of beef, which I'm going to season and I'm going to serve on top of some baby spinach leaves with some blanched asparagus and green beans and a fabulous anchovy sauce, some homemade croutons and a bit of parmesan. And then we've got some other vegetables to go alongside it, including some fabulous potatoes. So the main course, I've mainly thought about Denzel here, that I think he looks like a man who likes a potato and everybody else just have to follow suit. Um, and so new potatoes chopped up quite small, two inch cubes uh, with some smoked pancetta, um, some rosemary, a little bit of garlic crushed in and then into the oven uh, on about 170, 160, 170. They're cooking away now. We don't have to worry about those anymore. So we can use any green vegetables you like really within this spinach salad which is going to sit underneath the, the beef but we're going to use today uh, asparagus and uh, the beans. The beans have already been blanched so get your uh, boiling water on. We'll get our asparagus in there for about two minutes or so. I probably at this point might even consider opening up something and having a little drink. Yeah, just a little loosener just to kind of like, you know, get the kind of atmosphere in the kitchen going. So let's just take those off there because they've been on for long enough blanch it in the very very cold water so it cools down instantly um, so next what we're going to do is season the beef expensive a fillet as you can afford to buy I think that's the key to this whole meal basically do not skimp on the fillet and go to a really good butcher because that's what they'll remember the food is, is the center of the evening but I hope it's not the center of the conversation because <laughs> if people are just talking about the food then they might not be having such a great time I'd like a few, hmm, this is nice. Oh, where's this from? And then move on to other stuff. We're going to start preparing our salads now. So we have baby spinach leaves. We can now add our pre-prepared blanched beans. It's good to have a, you know, a few combustible conversations and people having a you know, heated exchange about something. I don't want it all to be quite benign and boring. Your blanched asparagus, so that's completely ready to have the uh, beef on top. Now it's the exciting part because we get to do the beef. <laughs> we'll get this on uh, a nice heat. So your beautiful fillet of beef, gonna go into the pan. Oh, lovely sound. Creative tension's good. Well, wouldn't it be amazing if a few of the guests decided to collaborate on something at the end of the evening? So David Williams and Barbara Streisand were writing a duet. There is a piano. Maybe we could all have a sing song. I'm just gonna turn that over. There. Denzel Washington was being taught how to drive by uh, James Hunt. All kinds of things could happen. So I think for most of my guests at my table, I think that will be enough. Eric Cantona, yeah, he'll be happy with it like that, yeah. Ah, he would say, the Ross Buff. <laughs> Kind of half one kick out for a dinner party, I think, is, is a successful evening. Curtains are twitching, the neighbours wonder why Barbara Streisand's walking down the drive in her slippers. And then, you know, maybe see them exchanging numbers and <laughs> arranging dinner parties without me. 